If we make tea, the tea leaves go in the warm farm, obviously. That's reducing waste and that's feeding the worms, which <laughs> really love it. So in the kitchen, I've stopped using the sponge that you find in the supermarket. I really was, was upset throwing sponges all the time. So I got this option which you can wash in your washing machine. So I'm really happy with that. Um, this little box I keep here to put the veggie scraps or for example, you get a tea bag. I opened it so that the worms can access it easily, but that paper breaks down as well. I, I take the other bigger box in the fridge and this one is full now, just to show you the process. Um, I empty it here. It has lots of goodies for the worms. And then this is just the easy process. I take a big bowl. I empty everything in here. Do with your hands or there we are. And then I take just a little scale, kitchen scale. This is already um, set up so that it has the weight of the, the bowl. And I look at the, um, how much quantity I have, one kilo, 400 grams. Just have a pencil here, and I write in here how much kilo I have, 1.4. And the day, today is Thursday. And I have two worm farms, so one column for one of the worm farms, so that I know in which worm farm I put how much kilos. And then we just go outside and we feed the worms. Yeah, I'm tracking the weight because it's really re rewarding to know how much you've saved from landfill. We have a little blanket here that we use from a discarded sheet, bed sheet. We cut it up and then the way you do it is that you dig a small hole. You try to cover the food scraps so that you don't have flies issues. The worms love banana peels. So they'll be super happy. My daughter loves taking them in her hands because it's, it tickles. <laughs> so it's very fun to do with the kids. So in the worm farm, there are things you can't put, like you can't put too many orange peel or onion or garlic on all those acidic products. The worm really won't like it. Um, so what you can do, you can put it in a jar. Uh, also, you can put lemon in there and you add a vinegar and a bit of water and you let it maybe for at least a month, I would say. And then you can use that around your home and it's really good for cleaning all the surfaces, the sink, anything like that.